Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do a review on the NX458 by RCF and alongside that I'm going to do a comparison between the 745A and the NX458A. As we know they are very similar so I'm going to just weigh one up against the other and see what conclusion we get to. So on the left we have the new NX45A and on the right we have the old RCF 745A. This is not the Mark IV, this is the older version which you can identify by the styling on the grille. The NX45A is black and the RCF 745A is grey. They are both 15 inch two-way active speakers. I'm not going to go over the spec too much but just to mention that they are both very good, they're high-end and they're multi-purpose speakers. The NX45A is a wooden construction speaker. The wooden cabinet material is Baltic birch plywood. Therefore it weighs a lot more than the 745A which is a moulded design. Call it plastic if you wish. The NX45A weighs around 5 kilograms more than the 745A. Some people might think five kilos more that's not much that's not much more than the 745 well work this one out that is what you need to strap to the side of a 745a to realize how much the nx weighs or an alternative is this way right it's not that much heavier than the 745A. All we need to do is add one, two, three, four, five bags of sugar, and that is the weight of the NX. I wouldn't fancy strapping these to the side of the 745A. It's not the lightest speaker and it doesn't have to be heavier. It has two grab handles on the side. And nothing on the top, which is the same with many other wooden speakers that I have. The 745A also has the two grab handles on the side and it also has the additional handle on the top. The grab handles are a very heavy, robust design and they have a nice rubbery feel to the inside of the handle. The 745A has very nice handles and a nice rubbery feel to them also. And the handle on the top is very good. Obviously when you're positioning this, you can adjust it a little more or just for picking it up to mount it on a pole. Whereas the NX45A doesn't have this, so you have to grab this and you have to physically lift it up to get on a pole. I'm just thinking of a worst case scenario of having to get these speakers on a pole. Looking at the design of the NX45A, it can be used as a monitor as it has the wedge and also floor standing and also pole mounted as it has the hole on the underside. The 745A the same, it can be used as a monitor wedge and also pole mounted as it has the holes on the underside. The NX45A doesn't have any feet and it doesn't have any mounts on this side if it's in the wedge position. The 745A on the other hand has feet and the rear, if you look where the wedge is, you can see where it steps off the speaker a bit just to give it a nice footing, what you usually see on a speaker that has a wedge whilst it's on the floor, just like the feet adding isolation if it is floor standing. The absence of the handle on the top make this speaker very difficult to move. Just like the EV ETX 12P, if you need to move it just one foot, you have to crouch down, grab the handles and pick it up and move it. You're not going to want to kick your speaker along the floor you're going to want to pick up this speaker and physically move it 
because of the price and you're not going to manhandle your speakers in that way so that makes things a little bit more difficult when it comes to portability whereas looking at the 745a you could just lean over grab the handle and move it one foot simple as that looking at the nx 45 a with the lack of feet and maybe wedge rubbers or wedge floor mounts is that if you had to put the speaker down in a damp place or maybe a dirty dusty place or somewhere that had a very coarse surface the speaker is going to be marked it's going to be scratched and even if it's moved a couple of inches or whatever this body is going to take quite a lot of abuse i know it is wood but it's going to get marked a lot and as i said if you had to set this down in somewhere damp the wood will be in direct contact of a damp surface i know it's very hard wearing covering that it has on it but you wouldn't want to put a speaker of this price in somewhere that is slightly damp the 745a has the feet so it isn't in direct contact to the floor if it happened to be set on the floor on a surface that was either loose or gritty grainy or damp or maybe even slightly wet the nx 45a has an extremely tough hard steel grill the grill seems to be about three maybe two to three times the thickness of the grill that is on the 745a it's an extremely tough grill which you could call a kick grill because that grill could actually take a kick whereas the grill on the 745a is so much more flimsy the steel grill sheet on the 745a has the punched holes and the material behind it that disguises the drivers and the grill on the nx has the punched steel but this is like honeycomb shapes now as i said it's a much tougher grill much thicker gauge than the 745a's grill and it has the material behind it as well that disguises the image of the drivers but yet i suppose adequate enough for protection the finish on the body of the nx 45a is very similar to the finish that you get on a lot of other wooden speakers very tough flecked kind of pattern or design looks very hard wearing very strong just what you need on a wooden cabinet which will take lots of punishment the top and bottom parts of the wood design by the grill are very similar to what you would find on the tt series of rcf speakers the nx 45a has a square badge and the 745a has a round badge both speakers are made in italy a view from the side a view of the rear of both of the speakers view from the rear exactly the same you've got the balanced input and the link you've also got the sensitivity knob you have the quarter inch jack you've got the limit light the signal light the status light you have the flat and boost options and also the line and mic option looking further down towards the bottom of the nx you can see that it has speak on connections ac power input and ac link output and it has a switch and a fuse looking at the rear of the 745a you can see it has the more familiar type iec power connection it has a fuse and it also has the on off power switch straight away you notice that the look of the nx45 is a lot more appealing to the very edgy looks of the 745a first impressions looking at the front of the 745a it has a lot more to say about it look at the size of the horn look at the size of the ports look at the grill whereas the nx it's so discreet very appealing a lot better looking so much more uniform and exactly how a speaker should look these days looking at the amplifier section on both you can see that they are both identical The NX has the heavier rigging points. No doubt this is due to it being more targeted towards the professional applications and the fact that it is a much heavier cabinet. 
rounding that up I can say that the NX458 is a very good looking very well made very high quality high standard construction and a lovely looking speaker no doubt so a lot of similar components and drivers amplifiers connections etc as the 745a it looks totally different to the 745a so the last question is how does it sound well I've had this speaker for four months now and I thought I wouldn't be too hasty about uploading my comments thoughts etc so I'm happy to voice them now I knew there was something up when it was time to listen to what the NX45A sounded like I had my 745A beside it connected it up through the balance input and played a track through it sounded great then I connected up the 745A and played exactly the same track through that through the balance connector just to try and get a comparison between the two why did I go to such lengths this is a big deal a speaker at this price this is a big deal the reason I had to do these extensive tests is because I have been hearing from everybody that the NX's sound better than the 745 A's they have been coming out with that same old chestnut it has better bass because it is a wooden cabinet just because a speaker has a wooden cabinet it does not mean that it has better bass that is an old myth and people tend to jump to that because it's convenient to say it only say it if you've listened to both of them do I have superior hearing or something or have I got a super duper 745A these are my monitors that I use at home that I use for listening to music preparing music and just generally experimenting with music I've had these for ages as you can see March 2011 the complete body is constructed from metal it's all aluminium not one ounce of wood in sight these monitors could take on any wooden monitor any day these are ported units and the base that comes out of these is delicious for such a small monitor I've had these monitors for ages and I've had them for so long because they're so good so bang goes the wooden cabinet is better theory the base that comes out of these tears up the rule book about wooden cabinets being better tiny yet the low frequencies that come out of this is deceiving let the speakers do the talking and not the myth the sound from the NX45A is very mid rich and not really delving too much into the low frequencies and the high frequencies or the higher frequencies in comparison the 745A has so much more from every frequency the NX has a very good rich mid performance but that's it the sound that comes out of the NX seems to be restricted or harnessed or tidied up if you could use that word it seems a lot more limited and a lot more compressed whereas the sound that comes out of the 745A is a lot more revealing and natural has a, it's a natural or naturally a natural feel to it it sounds a lot more real the NX produces sound that is very CD like whereas the 745 produces a sound like a vinyl playback airy open with so much transparency which the NX can't match the sound sounds too processed and artificial the tracks don't sound how I know them the NX can't match the 745's detailed delivery the NX delivery on recorded material is HD whereas the 745 delivery is more like 4k the NX's sound sounds processed the 745 doesn't sound too bright 
there's real low bottom end to keep that smile on your face. And it is a lot more revealing when it comes to the high frequencies and very low frequencies. The low frequencies on the NX seems to be, they seem to be cut back, which is why I use the word restricted and harnessed. Whereas the low frequencies from the 745A, they seem to be a lot more free. They are very unlimited and they're bottomless. The NX can't match the 745's detailed delivery. There's so much clarity there. The 745A has a good balance across all frequencies and on some other very high quality recordings you can hear a vocalist's lips parting and even their tongue leaving the roof of their mouth. I know it's crazy and mind-blowing but you can actually hear this. Everything about this speaker is heavy duty. The grill, the construction, the handles, the material, the cabinet finish and its weight. And not forgetting ultimately its purpose. I get it, I get it, I totally get it. In my opinion the NX45A does not sound as good as the 745A and I believe there's a reason for this. As I was saying earlier on, the NX45A does not have any feet if it's in the standing position on the floor or if it's in the wedge position. And there's a reason for this. It uses its own sheer weight as stability. If it's in the standing position, the whole surface is on the floor. If it's in the wedge position, that whole flat surface is on the floor, giving it the stability it needs under its own weight. This speaker is targeted towards rental companies and professional musicians. In the case of rentals, you're open to misuse, abuse, and on the occasion, carelessness. If these were to be rented out, the likelihood is if there were feet on this speaker, someone would be likely to carry these by a handle and a foot. So they'd grab a foot and grab a handle to carry these speakers. As this speaker only has dedicated handles, you can only carry this speaker by its handles, therefore eliminating any chance that the speaker may be dropped or slip out of a hand. Another reason why these speakers are built rugged is they need to be road ready or tour ready. That super strong grill, that super strong construction. The weight of these speakers is not an issue. They're likely to be carried by a group of band roadies or a group of sound engineers. So one person isn't going to be exhausted carrying these speakers around. There's a group or a team of people carrying these speakers around. It's not the case of your mobile DJ having to carry these and set them up time after time. There's a group loading these in and loading these out of a vehicle. These speakers are built rather rugged and tough as they need to withstand the punishing times on the road at venues and maybe festivals. These speakers are likely to be loaded on top of each other in a van. No time for delicacy. These will just be loaded up. They're going to be often knocked about and roughed about. This is inevitable. Small rubber mounts and feet are likely to get in the way if you need to load these speakers on top of other speakers. With the flat surfaces all round, these are a lot easier to load and unload if you're thinking about it from van to van, van to stage, wherever. Another thing, I consider this speaker to be very mid-punchy and as I said, mid-rich. Many reasons behind this. This could be to do with the fur face technology, also improving the linear performance. This is a multi-purpose speaker. As this speaker is likely to be used amongst musicians and professionals, this speaker is likely to be accompanied by low frequency cabinets, your subwoofers, and high frequency dedicated cabinets. So this producing the mids and mid rich is perfect. And if you say, for example, that this speaker might be used on stage in performances, those punchy mids are likely to propel very far to get at the back of crowds in maybe arenas or in venues or outdoor festivals. I suppose this is where the technology delivers 
and improves the stereo imagery and vocal clarity. This speaker does not need to wander into the lower frequencies or the higher frequencies as it is specifically designed to deliver something different. If you're a mobile DJ, I don't think this speaker is the right speaker for you. Why? It's too heavy. It's too expensive. I think that kind of money will be better spent on a sound system, preferably one of the many compact column array systems that are available today. Because this speaker has many similarities with the 745A, I think people straight away think this is meant to be a better 745A. It is better for the rental companies and the demanding environments of the professional musicians. That is where this speaker is at home. Keep an eye out on this upload because soon I'll be adding a link to the sound demo that I've done between the two speakers. Thank you for watching.